Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited to have you here and become part of our community. This video is something that I haven't ever done before on my YouTube channel and what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how I edit my Instagram photos. So if you are not following on Instagram, first of all, please make sure that you do. Today I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys like the apps that I use to edit my photos and we're also going to be editing a few of my photos together. So let's get started. The first app that I use to edit my Instagram pictures and the app is called Lightroom. I do have Lightroom on my phone and I also have it on my desktop but right now we're going to just like discuss what I use it for inside my phone and then later on this video I will show you what I do with the desktop version of it. So in Lightroom, I use either two options. First option that I use Lightroom Mobile for is to edit my photos using JC Marie's presets. Spring 3, this is Spring 1, this is Spring 2, this is Spring 4, and this is Spring 5, like the package that I purchased from her. I think it's called Spring Presets clearly so let's just edit one photo using these presets and these presets i like them a lot because i feel that these presets are like one click presets like you just put the filter on and you don't have to do like as much other edits so what i usually do to edit with this preset is i always 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 use the crop button here and i always do the straighten option and as you can tell uh, the picture is now pretty much straight likewise so I always use that sometimes we might take photos and we might do like a little bit of this or we might have our phone a little bit tilted and we don't notice but what that does is it clearly straightens your photo to be like super stiff and super like straight so I always always use that option so what I do to edit uh, this photo using the JC Marie presets is the following I scroll over to this side of the screen and I use the preset here option and here I have all the spring presets that I bought and that came in the package and we'll just go one by one to see more or less like what vibe I'm going for so this is the spring number one and with only one click you can actually see such a difference this is something that I really love about using like JC Marie's presets with one click like you have like the perfect photo uh, this is the spring 2 presets like it's kind of like the same as the spring 1 preset but the spring 2 has a little bit more of grain and then this is the spring 3 preset and you can basically see the difference between that and the difference between this spring 3 preset is that it has like more color like you can see that the blues and the greens are more accentuated uh, this is the spring 2 preset for reference and then this is the spring 3 preset like you can actually see that the blues and the greens pop more this is the spring 4 preset as well you can see the spring 5 preset which is like super warm tone and it makes my skin look like really dark so I barely use this preset but for this option I guess I'll go with the spring 1 preset and I just click this little check mark on the bottom right and there i have it and if you want to see a before and after pic here it is this is before and this is after like you can clearly see the difference and i love that so so much with these presets i barely like do any editing and if i do do any editing it will be to just go to the effects panel and then scroll where it says grain and i just usually turn that down a little bit well all the way to zero so that's one of the options i use lightroom mobile for now i want to show you guys like another option that i use on lightroom mobile it is and it is to just play with the colors by myself and do not use any preset and for that i'm going to be using this photo here where you can clearly see there's like a bunch of colors so what I do is I use the crop button again and click the straighten button and that literally straighten my photo to just 0.63 degrees but it still makes a huge difference and what I usually do is just put the exposure up because I like like a more exposed more bright look on my feed so I usually put that up to like 40 50 
exposure. We'll just leave it at like 42. And then I usually, what I do is just like go literally through all these options and put it like from the less option to the most right option. And there I can clearly see like which one looks best. And for this, I will up the contrast to like 25 of contrast and then I will go to the highlights oops I did something I will go to the highlights and do the same thing just to like be to just to like see the difference and you can see that the highlights if you put it like way over the top like it's really like you don't really have a lot of details so I usually just turn this way down like to 190 80 I'll just leave it at 80 and the shadows I will do the same thing because my hair is like dark I want it to be darker I don't want it to look like super ashy like this so what I usually do is like turn down the shadows till I match the color that I want my hair to be you know so I'll just leave it at like 25 23 and then I will go to the whites one and I will basically increase the whiteness to like 20 just because I already told you guys that I like it when there's like a lot of white and a lot of like exposure and a lot of brightness into my photos. And then the black one, um, I don't really use this one a lot but I usually just put it up a little bit to like 10. So there it is. And then something that I really, really love to do is play with the individual colors. I go to the color button right here. What I will do is go to the upper right corner and click the little mix button right here. And then you can clearly see that there's like a selection of literally all the colors out there in the world. And what I usually play with is the saturation. So let's just play with the red ones right here, which includes basically like the Lucky Charms that I'm holding and also the Fruit Loops that are in the background. So what I do is that I like to play with the saturation and put the saturation up. So there it is, like 230. And you can also play with the hue, but the hue literally changes the colors to like not the colors that they are actually so i don't usually like to play with that because i like keeping it like real time i don't like doing like crazy things so i usually just play with the saturation only and if you're curious to know what the luminous does you can basically choose what shade of red you want it to be whether you want it to be like a little bit more a uh, pastel or you want it to look a little bit more burgundy ish so here it is i'm turning the luminous down and that makes it like really burgundy and you can clearly see like the lucky charms don't actually look like lucky charms nor my lips they look like super dark and when you turn it up the red becomes even more red and more vibrant and my lips look like a weird color so i usually just keep it at zero which is how I had it originally and that's the reason why I only play with the saturation and then I go ahead and do that with every other color here guys this is the difference this is the before see it's like really like ashy and not that like detailed and the colors like just fade in the background but then after I applied all the things that I did you can clearly see that the photo looks like more vibrant and the colors look like really saturated and beautiful and you can clearly see like all the colors okay you guys so a little change in setup because the neighbors started blasting music so i had to like call my aunt who lives literally like in front of us and i'm here in her house and hopefully like yeah like the music that the neighbors were playing do not reach like the area that i'm at so anyways, what I was saying is that now we're going to be discussing Lightroom Desktop. So the desktop version of Lightroom costs $9.99 every single month. So it's a subscription service that includes like Photoshop, Lightroom Desktop, and like another version of Lightroom. So I have like all those three apps for $9.99 every single month. But for me, it's honestly worth it because I've only like had the time to like work with it uh, for two weeks now. And I have done 
and created magic with that program. So I'm like super happy that I clicked the purchase button and purchased that. So right now I'm going to be switching into a voiceover and I will show you on the screen exactly what I do on Lightroom desktop on my computer. So here we go. So after I import my photo on Lightroom desktop, I go to the first option below the original photo and then on the aspect section, I click original and then I put the 4x5 dimension because that dimension is actually the dimensions for an Instagram post. So then I click the done button and it will change the dimensions of my photo and then what I would do is just scroll down and adjust the exposure a little bit more because i like it when my photos are more exposed and are more bright and then i use the contrast and i lower that and for the highlights i will just lower that as well the shadows i will up that a little bit for the white section i will leave it in zero and then for the black option i will up that a little bit more for the vibrance i will just leave it as it is and then I would just adjust the temperature and because I like warmer tones, I would just leave it at a little bit more to the right side of the scheme and then I will go to the left side to see how the original photo was and then how it looks like after I applied the effects. And what I will do is just, I will click the right option of that section. I will click the show selected mask overlay. And what this will do is just select all the area of the photo that I want to change. And I know that it looks like a pink cute color, but sadly that's not how the color it's going to turn out to be because that's just the mask and it just shows what you are selecting. So I would just... Do that for a little while and you need to have patience because you really need to be as precise as you can because if you want the photo to actually look like you are in another wall and that the wall is a different color you would need to apply that selected mask as close to the body as you can so i'll just pretty much be here for like 20 to 30 minutes and just do that and zoom in and all of the areas that I want to color. And not everyone is perfect so sometimes I really do mess it up and when I do mess it up I just click the erase button and what that will do is just give me the opportunity to erase everything that I do not want to be there. So this is the before and then this is the after and then I just unclick the show selected mask overlay and what I would do is just click this little rectangle right here and just choose the color that I want the wall to look like. You can see that you can change it to purple, you can change it to green, to whatever you want and then what I would do is just arrange the exposure to where i want it to be i arrange the contrast i arrange literally every single thing that i want to change in order to better help me choose what color of the wall i want it to be i usually just go with just like a color that goes well with the clothes that i'm wearing so i feel that white red and yellow go really well together so i'll just literally stay here for a couple of more minutes to see and test every single wall color there is and when i finally have that i get very very happy so right now i'm going to talk to you guys about another app that is a must-have if you are wanting to step up your editing game on your instagram and the app is called pixart and i only use pixart to when i want to add stickers into my photos and if you don't know or you're not familiar with what stickers are then let me explain it to you and actually like show you guys what it is okay so what i'm going to be doing is that i am going to click 
the purple button right here in the middle and then i would just click the photo that i want to edit let's just choose this one for example and what i'm going to be doing is that i am going to be searching for the sticker option here on the bottom of the screen and you can basically search anything and everything that you want you can search up stars you can search up rainbows flowers flower doodles uh hearts uh doodles like there's like a bunch of different things that you can search for and just like stuff that you have inside your brain of the vision that you want their photo to look like so for that picture for example i'm going to be searching up rainbow so i'm just going to be searching up rainbows and a bunch of different rainbows will appear in the search option so let's see what other rainbows we have here and exactly this one i love this one so much so i would just rearrange it however i am envisioning my photo to look like and like there it is like here it is a rainbow so cute and it literally like adds that personal touch you want in your photos and after you just like fix it and whatnot you can just hit the apply button here at the upper right corner and there you have it a cute little rainbow and stuff that's basically what i use pixart for just to like give my own personal touch to all of my photos. Before I leave, I want to share with you guys two other tips that I felt the need of sharing with you guys because I just, I don't know, like we're talking about Instagram, we're talking about feeds, we're talking about photos, so I just wanna like dump all of my knowledge to you guys to never miss out on opportunities to take photos because it doesn't match your feed or because my feed is always pink i can never post a white photo like do not limit yourself even though like you found something that you honestly and genuinely like and you limit yourself because it doesn't match your feed like for me that's super outrageous just do what makes you happy take your photos experiment with things and figure out your style but never like enclose yourself in that box where you can't just like go out of your comfort zone and try new things so anyways you guys that is it for this video i really hope that y'all enjoy it this is actually my first time doing like an instagram oh no i think this is my second time doing an instagram related video but i haven't done one in such a long time so if you want for me to just keep making more instagram related videos then please let me know and with that said please make sure that you follow me on instagram to see more of my day-to-day -day life and also make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel to see more instagram youtube and lifestyle content so anyways i thank you all so so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye